Hello, this is Aaron Malin with the Kicker Global Training Department. We're about to jump into the KX amplifiers. Now I'm assuming that you've already watched our introductory series about KX amps. If you haven't, please stop this video, go back to that video, and start again. Because what we're going to do now is get more in-depth with how to set gains, bass boost, and all those fun things. Now just like we talked about before with setting the gains, we want to be sure to have the audio source set up properly before we set the gain. What that means is you want to have your bass at zero, treble at zero, loudness off, EQ off, balance and fader at the neutral position, so the audio source going into the amplifier is as clean as possible. From there, we're going to use some very dynamic music, just like when we did the gains. Something bass heavy, something that you listen to a lot of. We want to set the volume at about the halfway mark. Now starting with the crossover all the way down at 40, slowly turn it up till you hear some sub bass. Keep going higher, higher, higher. It is going to start to get louder. Keep turning it up until it starts to sound kind of muddy, kind of boomy, kind of unnatural. If you hear voices, once again, that's usually not a good thing. So turn it back down just a little bit. When it sounds natural and smooth, that's perfect. A low-pass crossover is simply a filter that gradually removes high frequencies. The KX amplifiers do this at a rate of 24 dB per octave, which in simple terms is a very steep slope and removes high frequencies extremely fast. Notice how when the crossover on the amplifier is moved up, the slope in the graph follows. A low-pass crossover allows the subwoofer in the system to play only low frequencies by cutting out all of the unwanted high frequencies that the subwoofer was never designed to play. When I'm at a concert, I like my bass and drums on the stage. Not at the back of the concert hall. As you turn the crossover up, you'll begin to notice the bass and drum sound like they're coming from the trunk. Try experimenting with this setting so you can begin to understand the differences, and once you have a firm idea of what the sound differences are, go ahead and lower the crossover until you actually notice the bass is coming from the front of the vehicle. If you go too low on the crossover point, it will sound like there is a hole between the front speakers and the subwoofer. With a little practice, you'll be able to set this up with ease. What we just walked through was probably the easiest way to set a low-pass crossover. It's certainly not the best way, but there again, a lot of folks don't have all the equipment at home that they would need to do this properly. So we went through the most basic way to do it. If you want to get a little more tweaky, a little more fine-tuning, check out some of the other videos, and we're going to get more in-depth on how to do that.